Good evening, fellow Singaporeans. Imagine a Singapore that is far better than it is now. Singaporeans are proud of our country's tangible achievements. Even as an opposition party, we give credit to the PAP's founders for our physical infrastructure and efficient systems. But what about the intangible aspects? Can positive changes happen in Singapore so that we embrace openness to other views, culture and creativity, transparency, kindness, fairness and happiness? Imagine a Singapore where the huge power imbalance that now exists with the government dominating and controlling the people is changed and power shifts back towards our citizens. Where diverse voices are listened to and really heard and government policies are not predecided and bulldozed through. Where civil society plays a significant role in discussing issues and suggesting ideas just as it does in other countries. Envision a Singapore where the government accepts opposition parties and others who speak up as Singaporeans who love our country rather than nuisances to be fixed. Where artists, writers, actors and other creatives have the same respect and protections they enjoy in developed nations. Where there is press freedom far greater than our current ranking of 158th in the world. Yearn for Singapore where organisations that spend taxpayers' money, such as the People's Association, are run equitably and not used to reinforce the PAP's control. Where places in schools are allocated fairly, rather than preferentially to those in committees run by PAP MPs and advisors. Where there is transparency regarding our CPF money and national reserves, and openness about the salaries of those who invest and are paid the people's money just as there is elsewhere. Dream of a Singapore, where Singaporeans enjoy the work-life balance we see in many developed countries, where the elderly work only if they choose to and not because they have to, where promoting fairness and the happiness of the people are the primary goals of the government rather than GDP growth. The PAP would have you believe that having such an open and fair society with press freedom will cripple a government's ability to act quickly and firmly. COVID-19 has shown that this is a false scare tactic. New Zealand, Taiwan, Denmark, Australia, Finland and South Korea have successfully tackled the coronavirus. Many may argue they have done so as well as, if not better than, Singapore. These places are economically successful and have competent governments. They are, at the same time, robust democracies where the changes of party in power at election time are considered normal. Every one of them is in the top 45 countries in the world when it comes to press freedom. Singapore is in the bottom 25. In addition, New Zealand, Denmark and Finland rank even higher than Singapore among countries with the least corruption. And all this is done with leaders who earn far lower salaries than ours do. These countries enjoy tangible success and yet still embrace intangible ideals. Can't we visualise a Singapore that has both too? We of the Workers' Party believe that such positive change in Singapore can happen if enough of us work for it. Our younger candidates have joined us because they have imagined a Singapore that can truly be even better. Imagine, envision, yearn for and dream of openness, transparency, kindness and fairness. Make your vote count. Vote for the Workers' Party. Thank you.